What is up guys? We are in beautiful Flagstaff, Arizona today and I am going to take you into Hidden Light because I'm going to be doing some work here over the next couple days. Hidden Light LLC is my friend Steven's place. They are an amazing group of printers. It's a bunch of stuff. Just come on in. I'll, I'll, I'll take you in and show you. You're really going to dig this. Alright, gotta see who's here. Very important. Watch your step and be aware. What's up, Moose? How you doing? And here's the man. It's my buddy, Steven. How you doing, Ted? Boom. We are going to uh, show everybody Hidden Light. Sounds good. LLC. LLC. LLC's important. Yep. So Hidden Light is, first and foremost, you do printing services. We are a traditional photo lab. We sell black and white film. We sell cameras. We process black and right white here. film. Right here, check this out. Yeah, this is the camera shop. We process black and white film in house, uh, 35 millimeter up to 20 by 24 sheet film. Awesome. In a, rot in a rotary processor. Like all the stuff. Yeah. 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 Very cool. And then we do prints in the dark room. We can print any film format up to 8 by 10 uh, in an enlarger. And you are a full house because you do uh, print service, or sorry, framing services as we well. We do. We are a full service yeah. frame shop. So most of our local business is picture framing. And then uh, the other part of our business, which is the fine art printing. Platinum printing. Yeah, that looks as good. As well as silver gelatin printing. These are from David Brookover. Okay, yes. these are David Brookover originals. Yep, and we've been working with David since uh, the inception. So and almost, yeah, and almost 17 years. Most of you will probably remember not only David, but also Steven, because when we did the, actually you weren't in David's video for our series. I was not. You were there, but you were I not in the video. But we did the awesome scene of you wrestling with the dog on the That's porch. That's right. Yes. So yeah. people might remember him from that. Yep. And speaking of, David Brookover is over here. David, wave. Wave to the folks. Hey, hi. David's working. Um, and you can see here's the board with the uh, schedule on it. And uh, there's a lot of printing that he's here doing. So I came out to Flagstaff to <laughs> basically distract everyone. And... Uh, yeah. You know. Let's see how it happens. And this is Rod. Everybody remembers Rod. Rod Clark. Hey, the good. man from uh, Wine Country Camera who uh, makes the awesome filters. And Rod and I have been roommates and yeah. getting into all kinds of trouble while we've been here. We've been shooting in the Grand Canyon in 73 yeah, we did. weather. You got me up at 4 in the morning yesterday. Way too <laughs> but it was awesome. Well, there's a whole video on that if they haven't seen it already. But Coming soon to yeah. near you. So we, we need. We, we have the new Polaroid film. Ah. We have Polaroid cameras. Is it impossible? Really, it's not impossible. It's it is Polaroid, not impossible. And it's really good. It's a good film. You like so, it? Love it. You're, da you're down so far, with it. So far, so good. Yep. And you also have the uh, step two, one dance move camera, the new Polaroid. Yep. 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 The Polaroid one yep. step two. Yep. The one step two. And we are going to um, maybe start oh. car carrying some cool shirts. Oh, oh, that would, that would be. To go with our <laughs> hidden light shirts. <laughs> that would be awesome. Wouldn't this would be neat if we had some of these in the shop? Yeah. Not yeah. so hidden light and, and very yep. hidden light. Yeah. Yep. Oh, that's cool, man. I dig it. Yeah. So we can sign cameras. Uh, we buy cameras. We whatever, whatever. So yeah. we've got. Crown graphic. Yeah. Crown graphic. Uh, you got some cool stuff. We have a oh yeah, and the blods. Yeah, very Mamia six. Mamia six. Dude, a, that's a new, the a new Hasselblad. Will I, take. I used to rent these. This is one of my favorite cameras ever made. The 903. Yeah. Super wide. Super wide. Super wide. Fixed so, lens. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Well, right now we're working with David on some new releases. And so new releases. Platinum prints and some silver prints. And so he's in the dark room with Matt. So we'll this is kind of cool for those who don't know. So basically the printing process, there's a lot of experimentation that goes on and you make a lot of prints to come up with what you Correct. like in the end. So what you're seeing here, like notes, like, you know, whatever they're doing on there, this probably well, wants to be darker, lighter. And this process too, it's a contact print process. Right. So you can either shoot film this big or we can take a digital capture and make digital film and then go in and make print any size. That big, yeah. Yeah, so we'll show you that. Um, okay, cool. These are some extra prints or rejects that we're still kind of going through. So we, we print a lot of prints. Yeah, to get test that, strips. And... Test strips to get that final recipe down. That's awesome, so, man. I yep. dig it. This is a print that's almost done. So yeah, so they get, you have a press then that flattens out the, because this Correct. is horribly curling paper. Yeah, we paper, put these yeah. in a vacuum press. Yep. And then I go back Dude, in with the brush nice. yeah. and, and I'll spot these little white spots where dust has landed on the paper. And then we can cut mats and frame them and get them out to the world. This is dark room A. Dark room A? Dark room A. Boom. Gentlemen, so, you're going to be in my video. Oh, Matt, hi. Matt Beatty. Like videos. Matt Beatty, you hi, probably man. remember from David's video too, except he yeah. had longer hair and a longer beard, beard. beard yeah. and no hat. Yeah, and, but he's the same Matt. He's still funny. 
Still awesome. Looking. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. And what are you guys working on? <laughs> right now we're working on a rocket. This guy. Rocket man. Yep. Rocket on a pole. Rocket on a pole. Not just a, yeah, exactly. Sweet. Very so nice. I got one pretty much ready to go in the next room if you guys want to come. Yeah. yeah. Is this platinum palladium? This is going to be pure palladium. Pure palladium. Let's yeah, go this way. Warmer than that. We I dig this it. Way. Go into the dark hallway. The fun way. Let's do it the fun way. The only way. Yeah. Look, this just keeps on going. Dark rooms. Wow, dark room. Forever. You don't have to have black walls in a dark room. Really? It could be blue or red. You can have pink walls in a dark room. Pink. <laughs> They're pretty awesome. They look good. Dude, yeah, that's you a good place, right, David? Yeah. You're getting it done. Here's a rocket. All right, so rocket. Ah, rocket. So rocket has been exposed, right? Yep. So that's the lightning image there. All right. So yeah, they put the transparency on top of this and they expose it to. Sorry, the negative. It's a negative. It's yes. a negative, and they expose it to UV light for a determined amount of time, 15 minutes, whatever. And so, now we're ready to develop. So this developer is 130 degrees because okay. David likes it warm, and that's what we're gonna do. All right. So we'll just to make sure we get this all kind of psych yourself in, ready for the three. Look at the steam coming up. Boom, no right. kidding. Yeah. God, that develops quick. Yeah, it's nothing like silver gelatin. Yeah, it's, it's done yeah. already. I'm just making sure I get it nice and even. Wow. Slick. There's your palladium print right there. Looks great. Heck yeah. Wow. It's got a good pop. Alchemy. This guy's like the best Whee! ever. He's on a ranch down in Oklahoma. Really? Good friend of Stephen of mine. Okay. Near Enid, Oklahoma. Yes. And this was a commission work, right? Uh, yeah, sort I of. shot a series for them, and then the, this is a gift to one of the ranch owners. So. It's cool. Yeah. Whoa, yeah. coming over. We have a bigger platinum we can show you later. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I'm this dressing up the camera. This is a big platinum, so we'll yeah. do that later. So this is the first clearing bath. We'll do that for a few minutes. So after the developer, how many clearing baths do you have? Three. Three. Yeah, give me 15 minutes on that, Leah. Yeah, three minutes, or three three baths, five minutes apiece. Nice. Yeah, we'll okay. reuse the developer later. See, that's interesting too. You can reuse your developer. Oh yeah, yeah. the older oh, the developer, the better. Yeah. Really? Oh yeah. Does it ever exhaust? Yeah, we replenish a little bit. Yeah, but control it. Yeah. So I can make it waffles. Yeah. This is right. hot, so be careful. Yeah, don't hurt yourself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank yeah. you, gents. Oh, yeah, right. we'll excellent. We will see you in a bit. And uh, we are moving on Move into on. weird white balance. So Vacuum press. Vacuum yeah. press. Yeah. Ah, so this print will be flat Taylor. soon. Taylor's got yeah. That one going. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, it's my man Taylor. The silver gelatin man. So the silver gelatin man. He's not made of silver gelatin. No. But no. he eats it for <laughs> breakfast. He eats it and breathes it. I like it. Some Let's people just have coffee. Right. Taylor has... So we're jealous. <laughs> yeah, a little sodium fuel salt. <laughs> it tastes just like Jello, right? <laughs> we all do. We never have fun. Yeah, it feels like I, like we're hugging one another. Like this is really weird or yeah. something, you know. Yeah. So anyway, um, earlier you were telling me this. It actually was never an Episcopal church, but no. it was designed to be. This, so that's why we got these big ceilings. And right. All. Yeah, it yeah. was built to be an Episcopal church back in the late '60s, and never was. Yeah. Um, and then there's been photo studios, photo labs, uh, all kinds of businesses in here. Speaking of, so when you started this, yeah, your ethos was and is very different. I mean, there's less photo labs competing today. Right. But tell me about like when you started. Well, out. I was a wedding photographer and an aspiring landscape photographer. And what I hated and was... And this is here in Flagstaff, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But I'd go to like different labs mm -hmm. in Phoenix and other places and I'd go to get a print order. And what would happen was you hand it off at the counter. It goes into some back room. Some guy you've never met prints it. They bring it to you. You never will meet. Yeah. And you never know like how you got to this. Yeah. And so when we started this, Corey and I sat down and we said, well, what do we hate about all the photo labs we work with? Mm -hmm. We hate that you don't have any input into your work. You don't know anything about it. So we thought, okay, it'd be really cool if we just let all of our clients come in the dark room and work with us. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people were like, oh, you shouldn't do that. They're going to take all your secrets and all that stuff. <laughs> but the truth Shh, is, the, the truth is, is that it's all public knowledge. Yeah, and the, the more we can tell people and, and help them with their work, right. the better they are and the better we all do. It's pretty so awesome. we've always just been kind of a resource for photographers. So. Dare I say, you're you're too humble to say something like this, but this, I think that's one of the reasons you're still around. There, uh, most labs in this country are uh, that's a ex almost extinct yes. species of business, yeah. because well, largely digital, 
And the fact that I think that a lot of film photography has moved into a real enthusiast stage where a lot of people develop their own film. Right. Uh, if they want to print, uh, they will get into that, assuming they have the space. But you have kind of something very different in that you have, we were talking about last night where it's kind of back on the swing again where people want to do prints again. It's right. cool. Like you're doing platinum palladium, people like Matt and you know. Oh yeah. And, and you know, we've always sold a little bit of film. We've always had cameras around yeah, or sure. whatever, but in the last two years, three years, we've really seen it come back in a big way. So cool. We're selling more film now. We have students come in from the university, which is a block away. They process their own film with us in the dark room, then they want to get into making prints. Yeah. And so that's cool. Do you, well, I was going to ask you that because Flagstaff is a university town. It is. There's a school here. Yep. And do they have a photography program there? They all? do. They do. And they so do. do you get some of those students coming over we here? We do. Now and we get a lot of them. And they want to print yes. and they want to learn. And want you have to... kids that have learned all this digital stuff, growing yeah. up with digital, weaned on digital, I say. Yeah. And then what do they want? They want to learn the next thing. Yeah. So we can process their film, leave it for them in a strip or scan it for them. Yeah. Yeah. And then they can put it right on Instagram and then they can come back and make prints. dark room and formerly yours formerly mine I used to do all the silver printing but then we got too busy yeah um, especially when we met David broke over 15 years ago <laughs> but we have an 8 by 10 enlarger we can actually do 10 by 10 negatives 8 by 10 enlarger yeah but we can print 10 by 10 negatives if you can find a camera and, that big uh, we project like a slide projector down here to the paper a nice. 4x5 enlarger two other 4x5s big trays big sink look at that Close this door and turn this off. It's you know red light, just like yep. in the movies. Just like in the movies. Just like, just like in, in blow up, right? Yeah, dude, yeah. this is like I, I envy the sink. So the thing that people need to know is is whether we have digital files, digital capture, or film. At the end of the day, we're making handmade prints, uh, dark room prints. Now, interesting trivia here. You started this company 17 years ago, right? 17 years ago. It was ago. you and Corey uh, Allen. Corey, yep. yep. And then you were the silver gelatin guy back then. I was. I did all the black and white printing, silver gelatin. Corey did cibachrome printing from transparencies. This is pre-digital. Pre-digital. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then uh, we thought that would all go away and digital would take over. <laughs> we never thought we would be taking digital files, making negatives, yeah. and then making prints that way. Trend, yeah. So it's really merged in a way I never thought it would. And then you went to upper management. And then I went to upper management, <laughs> and we started hiring printers and people, and started selling cameras. Paper stash. And uh, it was all of our paper stash. Yeah. We've become the dumping ground for like old chemicals and paper that people find in their attics or oh, their closets. Cool. So people come in and give us boxes of paper and, you know, and this is just chemicals and yeah, nice, yeah. nice. So sometimes we'll let a student come in and work in the dark room. Oh, that's um, cool. Hidden lights, uh, what do you say? Our, our entire operation has always been based on letting people come in the dark room, work on their prints with us. Cool. And then they can see how the processes work and then yeah. they can go do whatever they want. That's cool. So you're all about the education. All about the education. Why like that? To be a resource to help people. Because hmm. then they know more. They know what they're doing. They know what, you know why things. Then they shoot differently. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. And then they make cool stuff. Yep. Yep. I like it. Let's okay. move ahead. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay. This this must be the framing back Taylor here. Taylor also does mounting of the prints he makes. Yep. He mounts them uh, in a vacuum press over here. Very cool. That yep. one's going in or Which out. Can be yeah. quite tedious. Going in in a few minutes. Going in. Yep. Yeah. yeah. This paper's awesome, but it curls, so you gotta flatten it. Yeah, you gotta flatten it and stick it to a board. Yeah. But. What's going on back, back here? Here is where we do the framing production. Hey, Kristen. it's Kristen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is like the most awesome person in the whole operation here. And the only girl. I'm the only girl here. <laughs> That's why you have to say that. I am sorry. She, she really is. She is the best. We are backlit and we've had a lot of fun. <laughs> but yeah, no, Kristen's awesome and she is the framer. Mm -hmm. So when you need your work matted and framed and she's got some paintings going on here right now, but they're really cool. Yeah. Yep. Um, yep. But this is where the magic happens. Yep. We so. often do a lot of uh, David Brookover's framing as well. Oh yeah, I'm mm -hmm. sorry. Yeah. <laughs> he's really picky and yeah. Mm -hmm. No way. He's really <laughs> He's an artiste, and then this is cool because they were showing this to me earlier. But this is a uh, it's just going to float in here. Yeah, this is really neat. Yep, it's quite a pain. It came rolled up. We had to stretch it, and then Krista got the frame, and now she's mounting it into the frame. Awesome, yeah. sweet. She does it all. Very cool. She's this is the brains behind the entire operation, and she's totally outnumbered. 
Yeah, that's what you think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He'd like to think they're out. So He's, what else? Yeah, outnumbered. Uh, well. Looks like these guys are still in here doing something. They're still getting out, going on. Oh, another image. Another image. Nice. Y'all been busy. Oh, one of Rod's. Yep. Rod, that looks awesome, dude. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. It's very nice. That's wicked. That's great, man. You feeling good? You like it? Feeling good? Yeah. It's pretty is spectacular. Matt still feeling good or is he uh, dude, burnt down? It looks good. Are we doing a silver of that so you can see the difference? No. Just going platinum? No, two, two, different, two different silvers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're doing two different images that are silvers. And then we're just, uh, this is the first crack at this, and I want to see one that's just a hair lighter. Yep. I, mean, this is yeah. I like this. This looks good. Now, yeah. tell everybody, does a palladium print, will it dry down darker like silver will? A uh, hair. Like Slightly. Less than 5%. Okay. But it's, you also basically have a gloss finish when it's in the water like this, and when you dry it down, it's a matte paper, so it, it will look a little less punchy than that. And we say a silver gelatin will dry down about 10% darker right. than when it's wet. Well, the cool thing too is like, you know, you guys are set up for all this stuff and like platinum palladium is something I've always wanted to do, sure. right? Because, but it's always been like one of those processes you think, oh, Irving Penn, or you think, oh, expensive and like the secrets behind it. And, oh, you can't do that at home. You need to know what you're doing because it's such a fine process and I've never done it. Right. But I come out here and Matt's like, yeah, you want to do a print? And I'm like, what do I have in my inbox on Dropbox? That, oh, here's right. a JPEG. Yeah, let's do it. We'll do a small one, 10 by 10, but in small, but it's like I can see the process. Right. And Matt's totally like this cool dude who's willing to share, in fact, loves sharing. Right. You know, and so it's like, it's really a cool place to be. You well, know? thank you. I yeah, appreciate that. Absolutely. Well, yeah. and plus, you guys are nice to me. You put up with Try to be. <laughs> we, want, we, all want, we all want shirts. Honestly, and I mentioned this on a video before, but they, yeah, you want shirts. We all want shirts. There's still Sedona, there's uh, oh, Indian there's Rooms, Canyon Shea, Monument Valley. Uh, yeah, all of be, those places back. are in striking distance from Flagstaff. So. I had no idea. Yeah. I just knew that they were here and they were cool. And yeah. Dude, I appreciate it. Thank you. Them. Yep. Thank you. Yep. yep. My bro, dude. Check them out. Thanks, you guys. He really will do anything on camera. <laughs> we have good light out here right now. We do. Yeah. Yeah, I ordered that. The best the light. Order the, light. Yeah. order the pizza and the I light. I need it to be my good side. It needs to be good light. Yeah. So Store here we go. Clouds. Store-bought clouds. Store-bought clouds. <laughs>